if you could tell us a few words about yourself. So we also have this talks about legal career in order to help people to find a their qualification speciality mm -hmm. uh, where they can practice in which area of law and also um, career paths. So how they can reach the targeted aim, like either qualify via the SQE or as a as a trainee solicitor, that was your rule. You qualified as a tra trainee solicitor, right? Tell us yes. a little bit about your legal background, your speciality. Yeah, so I moved back to the UK uh, in 2011, and I worked in London since then as a foreign legal qual uh, qualified at first. So I worked at uh, energy companies such as BP, many others, including the very recent one for Total Energies. I've been working in London for over 10 years and um, I've qualified and completed my training contract in 2021. So in terms of on paper, I'm a slightly over two years qualified, uh, PTE wise, but um, in practice wise, I'm over uh, 10 years. So yeah, I qualified qualified through a training contract. Do I did uh, try and uh, to qualify via QRTS, but at the same time I managed to secure a training contract before I went through with it anyway. The, the route to qualify, uh, I think nowadays it's a lot easier uh, with the SQE, although you have to do complete your work experience on so on and so forth but uh, it would be a much easier journey in back then in my time it's, um, it's no such a thing <laughs> work experience so it's either Thing to secure um, opportunities for you to get even to get invited is 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 very it was very very challenging. So if there is anything uh, tips wise I could say here is that perseverance perseverance keeps at it keep going. If you fail on one thing, it doesn't mean it's the end of the journey for you. Keep going if you really want it. That is, then keep trying. So people still try to not just qualify, even to find their first job with um, some applications which are very similar to something which is called still called training contract. Mm -hmm. Any tips you can share in the light of those uh, interviews and maybe some tasks that you've had as a part mm -hmm. of your um, applications? Yeah, so um, I did mention that how uh, it was difficult for me to secure a training contract, but I did eventually secure one. So just to, to paint the picture here, I, uh, some people even um, applied every year, 11, 12 applications to, to every law firms. Um, I applied to 11, so that's, that was 11 applications within, um, I, don't, I can't remember, one or two years. Um, trying to in in characters so it's a character test for sure you know, only if you really want the professions <laughs> then you could go through it but um the the um my tip is that when you finally get your invitations go there look look professional be yourself and be very polite when you're there and they're cameras everywhere in the law firm, in any law firms that you attend. <laughs> and even when first, second you stick to the receptions, be polite. And during the assessment day itself, and which by the way, um, uh, out of the 11 applications, um, I got through the assessment day, through the, the final test, the end of the day, um, four out of 11. And uh, I didn't secure um, it in one year. It was a challenging time. So during the exams, though, um, I remember one feedback that says that I wasn't I wasn't um, assertive enough. So um, so that was a very blatant feedback, but it got me to my next uh, training contract actually because I'm 
with that feedback, although it would sounded negative, but it wasn't actually. It was a quite um, uh, helpful um, feedback from from that particular law firm. I took it at heart and then I actually applied it to my my next assessment day, and I secured a training contract. That's is that's is the thing. Even with this exam, if something doesn't work on your first attempt, you know, it actually mm -hmm. is your journey. It can it can make you better. It exactly. can make you better. I failed my first attempt passing the QLT Asoski, which is equivalent to SQE2, mm -hmm. which I'm actually, you know, I'm sort of proud of it. I, I was more mistaken as to uh, my patience. Yeah, it's not that I didn't deserve it or something like that nature but it actually made me better lawyer I then I reconsidered all the problems and issues which I've had and now we have there would be uh, this course wouldn't exist shouldn't I fail this exam so life is like this you you keep on learning yes learn from your mistakes so from for instance from that feedback and um, when I was told um, you know, everything was positive. Uh, we, we get back to you in one week, and then I, I got the phone call. Everyone loved you, um, but the one thing is that uh, you you were not assertive enough during your client interview. Because um, in the assessment day, you you've got this client interview as well, um, which is similar to the SQE and or, or, or SQE back then. So I, I was I was I was confused. <laughs> <laughs> so, so be careful with with, with this, with this uh, uh, feedback when you are told something that you you kind of confused what what, what that means. And um, uh, if you, if you are unsure about any feedback, uh, call them back again and then ask uh, for an explanation, which I did. But anyway, learn from your mistake and build up uh, on it. <laughs>